Well, today is the third batch of equal parts lye, equal parts water, requested by my friend Renee. Today was maker's choice. And the design that I'm choosing to make today is camo. I've never done that before, but I've seen soapers do it, where you get the batter to like a pudding consistency and then spoon it in like plops. And then you make a nice camo design. And the reason why I chose this design is because Renee told me that these soaps are going to some veterans. So I thought I would do camo design and I would name it Onward because I want to encourage everybody to just keep going. Keep going no matter how hard things get. The fragrance oil I'm using is an Abercrombie and Fitch type. It's currently sitting in some kale and clay soaking that up. I wanted to choose a manly fragrance for this particular batch. The colors I'm choosing are greens, two different greens, kind of a coppery bronze brown, and activated charcoal, and a gray. I have enjoyed the experiment of making equal parts lye, equal parts water, soap. It's been very interesting to be able to cut the soap eight hours later. Reminiscent of hot process soap making, except it's cold process soap making. I suppose I'll probably be cutting the soap this evening, and I hope that Renee is pleased with all of them. So let's go make our Onward Camo Soap. I already went ahead and combined the hard oils and the soft oils together. Here's our fragrance oil along with the pumice powder and the kaolin clay. Okay, now we're going to add our lye water. Wow, did you see that color change? That turned super green. Almost blue. Got several colors here. Don't know how much of each to do. Doesn't really matter. I'm sure it'll be a lot more than what I just poured. Now, believe it or not, I kind of want these to thicken up and try to get a camo design. So I will start mixing them in. This is our activated charcoal. Bronze, I believe this was called. Was graphite. That's interesting. This one's getting really thick. Look at that. This one. Hmm. Okay. Then we've got. Oh, oh. What's happening? Something's happening all of a sudden. Well, shoot, huh? Looks like I got my thickness wish. Look at this. At least I'm doing a camo design, huh? Wow. Is it happening with this one? I think so. Yes, it is. What in the world? Okay. Alrighty then, well, let's see if we can put any of these into the mold. Oh, this is not good. Okay. I don't think this is happening, is it? Wow. 
I've actually never had this experience before. I wonder if this is gonna have to be my first actual soap fail. That'd be kind of sad. It's hard as a rock. That's too bad. And look at what happened to my green. Oh, that's too bad. I'm such a get for not testing a fragrance oil, I guess. It's very hot too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to shove it in here as best I can and see what what happens. This is kind of a new experience for me here. <laughs> can barely eat my spatula out. This is crazy. Oh well, practically bending my spoon. Not even joking. This green is a little bit softer. That's nice. I don't understand why the green, I've used that mica before that turned orange. So I've been, I have not experienced that before where the green or the, where the fragrance oil completely discolors the um, batter. Look at the situation. And it's extremely fitting for what's happening at this very second. I was gonna call this soap onward. I don't know if this is gonna look like a camo soap, but onward is what I am doing right now. I'm not gonna give up, that's for sure. Quite a deal, I tell ya. Well, it caught me way off guard for my, for my morning today. And that's okay. This green though, this is the green that I'm putting in. This is my green, one of the greens. At least, at least the other green stayed green. I haven't touched this one yet. Check this out. <laughs> it's so weird. You saw how quickly this happened. I was, it was like super thin. I was like, well, I hope this thickens up. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't really mean, careful what you wish for, right? <laughs> Did not really mean this. I don't think anybody wants to experience this, but that's what, that's what we're gonna experience today. And I was waiting. Someday this was gonna have to happen to me. I've seen a few soapers have this issue before, and I was waiting for my day, and it was today. Right, I wasn't looking for any swirls, so that's good. Man, my hand's getting tired. What an experience. I wanted to pick a manly scent. And this is what happened. Wow, that's hot. Goodness, that's hot. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Chemicals are weird, aren't they? There's still more to try to get in here. It's turned into kind of a sad situation. Maybe if I add a little water to the top and kind of smooth it, it'll correct things. I'll try that. So now I'm just gonna try to Get it level. This one's hotter than the other one. That's weird. Well, what do you guys think? Have you had this experience already? I might get a little bit of water and just kind of uh, smooth the top if I, if I can. Oh, we're getting bubbles. I mean, it still works as soap. This is like hot process practically, isn't it? I 
feels like hot process. Well, <laughs> I'll see you for the cut, all right? Well, five hours have gone by. Yes. They have cooled off. It's still a little bit warm on the bottom, but I think we're ready to unmold. Oh, if only things had gone well. Whoa, there's the bottom. <laughs> wow, what a mess. unmolding extremely easily. Okay, well, there's our two batches. Let's uh, cut this soap. Well, doesn't look bad on the inside. Let's see how, how we do as we continue. I mean, maybe I can clean them up good enough to be acceptable. Well, that's not actually bad. The sides are a mess. But that's kind of how they are with hot process. It kind of looks cool, actually. And that first bar didn't have any pockets. Let's see if this one does. No, now this does not look like camo, like I wanted it to, but it looks pretty cool. And I'm shocked that there's no air pockets. They're all on the sides. This red, this red was that green. I never made red. Something wild happened with that green. That was the same green I used in my lilac soap, by the way. Wow, I am so excited there's at least no air pockets. Maybe, maybe everything's gonna be okay. It's not actually as bad as I was expecting it to be. Nice. Not camo, but nice. It's interesting, it's unique. Still no air pockets. It's like a, a wild marble, a wild multicolored marble. That's what it looks like. It's not bad. What do you think, Renee? <laughs> Let's see what this one turned into. Quite similar. No air pockets yet. I guess this is a man's bar. It's pretty, pretty boyish or mannish, which men and boys are practically the same thing. That was pretty cool. I guess I could break up my samples and try to fill in those side holes. That looks neat. That's actually a really cool bar there. Well, I am at least, actually I'm grateful for a couple things. I'm grateful that I did not give up and say, 
this was ruined, I'm going to throw away all my soap batter and try again. I'm also grateful that there are no air pockets in the main center of the soap, so I punched it down hard enough. And then I'm also grateful that I honestly kind of like the design on the inside. It's wild and interesting, unique. I'm very grateful for that. And maybe I will try to fill in these side, side holes. This is extremely, it feels extremely similar to hot process soap. It's weird how that happened. All right. Well, to tell you the whole truth, I like them. I really do. I filled in the holes on the side as well as I could. I had to create corners on some of them like this one, but it came out just fine. And I managed to stamp the side just fine. Stamped really cleanly. I really like the, the kind of a marbled random look inside. And if there's a bar that's gonna smell manly, this would be it. I'd say a man would probably like this dark bar. The name was coincidentally fitting. So third of three batches complete. This was my biggest struggle. I think that was called seizing that happened. My second batch, the lilac soap, went very strangely smoothly. And I love them. I like the swirls in it. First batch, made me concerned that something was wrong because I'm guessing it's because it was majority hard oils. So it was particularly hard and concerning. Renee, I hope you're satisfied enough with my equal parts light, equal parts water soaps that you requested. Now I'm supposed to ask myself and answer, do I like the equal parts light, equal parts water technique? And I would say, Depending on the soap, yes. Particularly if I'm making a single colored soap, absolutely. But if I'm wanting to do a design, I would say no, because I haven't tested every fragrance oil I have. And maybe this would have happened even if it wasn't water discounted. It was po very possible. But the extra water, I think, helps lessen the pain of a soap that's going to have an issue, I think. But then, you know, as you can see, it's not always the case. I got some really pretty swirls out of this, and this is the same equal parts line water. It's So I think if you're extremely familiar with your fragrance oil, you know how slow it is. I have a few that are just ridiculously slow fragrance oils. I would try to do designs with the equal parts of lion water. But in general, I think I'm going to stick with just a heavy water discount, but I absolutely am not gonna rule out equal parts light, equal parts water batches because they're not as scary as you think they're going to be and you should not be afraid to try it. Just be careful and be familiar with the fragrance oil you choose to use. And I do suggest maybe majority liquid oils. Thank you, Renee, for making this request of me. I will be working on the labels today and I will ship them out to you as soon as you want me to. Just let me know when. Now, what soap shall I make for next week? You're gonna have to come back and find out. You won't wanna miss it.